Hi, this is a video to explain how on a Samsung phone to change the audio notification settings for calendar entries so that when a calendar appointment is showing or ready, it will not do a simple little beep. It'll do something more significant, maybe louder, maybe longer. And here is the procedure for doing that. Step one is my, I keep my calendar inside my Google folder. So you open the Google folder and then you open the calendar. And then you click on the three little menu bars in the upper left hand corner. I think sometimes they call those hamburger menus. You click on that and then you scroll all the way to the very bottom until you see settings. Click on settings, then click on general, the very first menu option, and then scroll down and you'll see an option for calendar notifications. And if you click on calendar notifications, it will have an option here to have sound. And by default, it's usually just a little tone. And if I click on this, it brings up a menu and it asks me if I want to complete the action using my file manager or uh, the sec sound picker. Don't be careful not to click on the always button because then you're not going to be able to pick between these two. This icon right here that you see in green that says sound picker. I'm going to choose this first and you'll see that this is the default list of sounds that come with your phone and the default sound is just a little a noise that you can barely hear. Um, I'm going to have my phone near here and we'll see if we can you can hear it or not. It's very minimal. What you can do is look through the choices of other sounds that they have and see if one is more to your liking. I've learned that testing some of these and you can also change the notification sound volume. If the, you know, my volume is not up all the way, maybe your volume is not up all the way either. So you can change the volume and make it go up all the way. Secondly, or next, the length of sound of these notifications are pretty much all very, very short. If you want one smaller, what I would recommend that you do uh, is choose uh, a sound and then go to your file manager just once and choose an audio file. I downloaded a file from the internet, just an mp3 file, and it's too long, it's a whole song. What you want to do is find or choose an mp3 audio file that you want to use, and perhaps it's a song, and then I would load the program, the free program Audacity, to edit that file and make it five or ten seconds long, or however long you want it, the notification to play. By default, it's going to play for about 30 seconds or more uh, if the file is just a long uh, file. So um, please check out MP3 audio files. There are free sites that you can download some MP3 music files from and edit it with Audacity. And then you'll be able to have notification sounds that are as loud as you want them to be and for as long as you want them to be and have them be a unique sound that you will be able to identify even if you're not in the same room.